Alright guys, do us some shooting with these uh, Amazon bands that I just got. So they came in at 8 and 3 quarter inch active. And I had to cut uh, 2 and a half inches off for my short draw. I'm using the uh, HGH. <clears throat> so I can pull full, full here. I have a little bit more to play with here. And um, I'm shooting quarter inch because the 8 mil seems a little bit slow with these. See my little spinner down there. The quarter inch are working very nicely, no hand slap at all. Ooh, missed. But I did actually put the calipers on these and they're coming in at 0.56. So, it says 0 0.6, but they're a little bit thinner than a 0 0.6, but that's okay, that's pretty close. Mostly for 8mm, I like about a 0 0.6 band, so um, 0 0.6 to 0 0.65, depending on what, what you taper them. These actually are a pretty narrow taper. I'm not exactly sure what they what they started at. Um, you know, they're starting at 19, so. I would guess that right now I have them at about an 18 to 10 taper. They're pretty pretty narrow. They're shooting this quarter inch very well though. I like the stretch on them too. They could probably be stand to cut. They could probably stand to be cut a little shorter um, if you like them with a bit more power. Or if, like, I was shooting the 8 mil, I probably would cut another half inch off there. Because, um, you know, with a little bit shorter band, they're going to give you a little bit more power. I would also say if you use a long draw, that you probably want to use 8mm. Shoot, it's not shooting half bad though, I'll tell you. No hand slap at all, either. Not bad at all. You know, these were only like, these were less than a dollar each. They're, I got 12 band sets for $10 and some change. And that was including the shipping. I hate tying bands. I do. But... I hate tying them. Ooh. 
So if you like shooting quarter inch with a short draw or eight mil with a longer draw, these are probably really nice bands. They're definitely really nice bands. I think the stretch is great. They're a little bit snappy. And uh, you don't have to tie them. They're already tied. I'll leave a link in the description for my Amazon affiliate. Um, if you want to pick some of these up, use my link. Please use my link. Um, that Just going through the link, you can buy anything you want on Amazon, actually. If you click my link and you buy something within 24 hours, I'll get a commission for that. And it's like a small percent. It doesn't cost you anything extra, so they don't charge you any more than you would pay normally. But it's an easy way to help support me in the channel. And I would certainly appreciate it. Not bad at all. So you can see how they're tied here. Come on, there you go. So it's not like the most neat method of tie. But it's not that bad either. Clearly that's the amber belt. The clear version. And like I said, the grippy part is on the outside of the pouch. So when you pinch the ball, you're pinching it like that. And these pouch, this pouch is definitely made for smaller ammo. So a quarter inch looks like that in the pouch. So you can definitely fit an 8 mil. 8 mil, I, sh I did shoot some 8 mils and they weren't uncomfortable in there. So um, maybe 9.5. 9.5 might be pushing it for these pouches though. But all in all, not bad at all. We'll see how they hold up. Yeah. Not bad. Just my little quarter inches. <laughs> I'm going to keep shooting with it and see how long they last too because that's another big important um, factor.